Uh, right now, here is G-Spot from KPFA Radio and Miss Rosie Gaines, exclusively here on Soul Showcase. How's everybody doing? My name's G-Spot Gary Baca, sitting here with Rosie Gaines. You may have heard of Rosie Gaines. She has been a part of Prince's MPG, also has about three solo albums. How you doing, Rosie? What's up? And you are lucky enough to be privileged enough to be listening to the music of Rosie Gaines. She has a grand piano here. We're in the studios of KPFA Radio out in Berkeley, and this is one beautiful piano, and we're going to have Rosie play a few songs for you the viewing public, all right? So uh, we're going to get to that right now.
You just heard a song called Angel. This is available on the new CD called The Arrival from Rosie Gaines, okay? And uh, letting you know right now, we're sitting here with Rosie Gaines. And uh, Rosie, that was a beautiful song. Well, thank you very much. Well, how'd you come up with that one? Inspiration from Ja, you ja. know, and um, uh, inspiration for love, inspiration from watching other people suffer and realize that many people are asking for an angel to come rescue them. People having problems with their bills, you know, you got one person working for taxes, one person working for, to take care of the kids, and they wishing, like, can somebody please come rescue me? Yeah, that's great. That's very yeah. spiritual because a lot of times, you know, people do go through a lot and sometimes there is no one there and they do look look for that higher being and, you know, spiritually that angel, you know, may be over your shoulder. But, you know, what? tell me about your... Uh, the the angel is within. Within, that's right. Yeah. The body is the temple. Right? You are, the angel is within. God lives within and everything that we need in life is within. You heard that, right? You heard that. You know who you are, all right? <laughs> and uh, letting you know right now, you're from Pittsburgh, California, right? Yes. Yeah. From the Bay Area. From the Bay Area. And uh, you first hooked up with Don Cornelius back in 1985. We showed the album cover right here, right? Oh, God. <laughs> ah, going back some years for this one. Years Don ago. Cornelius. And uh, he put this together, and he was a part of Soul Train. You know Soul Train, right? Okay. And uh, tell me about his, your first encounter with Don Cornelius. Well, it's funny how we met, because actually I was playing at this place um, called the Dock of the Bay. Don was looking for a guitar player. And I was just playing there that night doing a gig, and he saw me playing there and said, came up to me and said, I want to manage you. And I said, okay. <laughs> and um, we went to L.A., and then we did this album called Caring, went to Soundcastle. By the way, I think I had told you this story once before, but we went to um, Soundcastle, and I met Greg Fillingaines, and I met Jackie Jackson there. Wow. And Greg came over, and Jackie came over, and they saw me in there singing, and they said, uh, Greg said, you know, I know you're going to let me play on this album, right? And I go, yeah, right. First of all, I didn't know who he was, and Don said, you know who this is, don't you? I said, no. He said, Greg Fillingaines, great keyboard player. Oh, yeah. He's so, played with Earth, Wind, and Fire, with them, and uh, a lot of albums out of the 80s. There's like numerous albums, Stylistics, yeah. the list goes on. You name it, he played with everybody. Right. So you're really fortunate as a, as a new artist to get such an individual in your album. So the next day, he shows up and played, which I didn't believe he was going to show up, because you know what I'm saying? You never imagine somebody like that is going to ask you to play on your product. So right. he played on this song called Good Times, by mm -hmm. the way. So he came, he did it, and Paulinho de Costa came down and played. Right. And it was, it was a great experience for me, the first album. Another great musician, Pablo. Yeah. And also, uh, did Wilton Felder? Uh, also That's play? right, he came. That's and right, he, From the Crusaders. You know more about it than I do, okay? Uh -huh. But this guy, Wilton, he came down and played on this song, Schoolology. So uh, that also was, hey, I was a fortunate person. Oh, I'm a wait. blessed person. Straight from Pittsburgh, California, and still resides here in the Bay Area. And uh, you know what? You're going to play another song for us, but uh, can you tell me what song we're going to hear? Um, we're going to do this uh, song called Ain't No Way by your request. Oh, by my request. <laughs> i got to say this because, you know, at one time, uh, Rosie Gaines was a part of the NPG, the New Power Generation, along with Prince, Minneapolis, and that whole sound. And she was with him for like five, six years and still can get that phone call any moment, still working with him. And as a uh, matter of fact, still on the album Emancipation, Jam of the Year. So, you know what? We're going to talk about that all later. So you got to tune in, okay? And right now we're going to hear the song Ain't No Way by Rosie Gaines. Short one. Thank you. 
song called Ain't No Way. We're sitting here with Rosie Gaines, the one and only Rosie Gaines. And uh, she has a couple solo albums. We just talked a little earlier. If you missed out, you missed out. She was a part of Don Cornelius and Soul Train and uh, had an album called Carrie in 1985. But uh, Rosie, that was a great song. Well, thank you very much. Originally done by Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin, yeah. That's a uh, tough song. To, that's, she's a tough act to follow, you know. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, Aretha. <laughs> if you uh, can't sing, don't be doing those songs that people sing, you know, that uh, Steve, I, I don't like when people try to do Stevie Wonder songs, you know. I mean, there's a few people that can hang with Stevie, yeah, but, yeah. you know, there's a few that uh, can't, you know. And Well, I mean, I don't know, because it's like, I think it's, it's Stevie probably feel great that these that the youth is wanting to do something by him. And it's, it's really a great thing that the youth don't forget, you know right, what I mean? Right. So even if they can't sing, it's still a, a, <laughs> it's, it's still a great thing, though, because really, it's still a great thing. Even if you can't I'm sing, it's person. still a great thing, all right? Yeah. Just keep trying, and maybe your voice will get better. Get those... Uh, singing lessons, right? <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I mean, Rosie, I mean, you uh, were a part of Prince's crew at one time, and uh, as a matter of fact, that song with, we just heard, Ain't No Way, you did that on tour with him, right? Yeah. Uh, on the new tour with Prince, that was your first tour with him. Tell me what that experience tour. was like with uh, working with him. The first time, the, first, the very first time we were in Holland, and um, this is the first time I ever had, you know, about 60,000 people screaming at you at the, at the same time, so that was... Uh, a, 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 a big energy thing and at the same time it was hard to try to do my part and not watch Prince and not watch all the audience and giving back this energy and and trying to remember the part but it was exciting it's the only word I can say for it and, and at the same time a blessing because there I was in Holland where I'm you know my whole dream was to actually travel the world it wasn't so much like I want to be rich and I want to be this it was more like I want to see the world I want to get culture I want to see other people's culture I want to know learn languages. I want to know where I came from. I want to know what my forefathers were about. And being able to be with Prince, I got a chance to see the world and, and, and find my heritage and find many things that, that I wanted. It, there's not enough time to tell you how many things I found out there. Right. And then a lot of people, you know, working with Prince, they say it's like going to college. I mean, he really makes you, uh, you know, work hard at what you're doing. And he, you know, uh, doesn't tolerate too many mistakes. And he's, you know, a professional businessman. But uh, you learned a lot. You were part of the album uh, Diamonds and Pearls, right? Yes. And uh, uh, some great recordings that he did live in uh, Holland and Japan, a few places like that. Mm -hmm. But how much did you get off of that? I mean, what, what did you learn out of that, out of that experience with him musically? I think it. I, I think it made me a better musician as a, as a keyboard player. But at the same time, um, he also learned a lot. So because I came in as a vocalist, and he uh, was more on the up up ahead of me as far as him being a musician. I learned a lot from him as a musician. As a vocalist, I think he learned things from me. So we both gave each other something spiritually. Yeah, that's right, because Rosie was a uh, musician, singer for quite some time. She comes from a family of 10 children, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you <laughs> know, that, that's right. You got to laugh about yeah. that one. 10. grandkids now. 50. 50. Yeah, 50, yeah. 50. 50 grandchildren, right? That's how it went. And, uh, you know, let, you know, right now that, uh, you know, I mean, you're a great musician. I mean, you've been around for quite some time. But, uh, you know, if the Bay Area doesn't know about Rosie Gaines, I let I got to let you know. you got to know more about her. you got to see her in concert whenever, uh, you know, you see her name out there. And, uh, you know, do, you know the song we're going to hear next? Um, this next song is going to be called um, Independent Woman. Okay, great. You're going to hear it here. a young girl in a blue world when I heard her whisper and other words she said girl this ain't just another day you got to listen now to what I'm saying she was an old lady in a bold face and sparkling eyes in a smiling face she said girl if you want to land on the stars first you gotta know just uh, who you are an independent woman to be an independent woman, an independent woman, I got to be an independent woman, she said, times have changed since I was young, you can surely be free if that's what you want, remember girls, you never let in anybody, you can be independent, this woman has She said, oh, woman in her own place. She had sparkling eyes and a smiling face. 
Congratulations, say it. Rosie, if you want to land on the stars, uh, first you got to know just who you want. I want to be an independent woman. We're sitting here with Rosie Gaines. She is a great musician from the Bay Area and has been a part of Prince's NPG, New Power Generation, and has a brand new CD out now that is available on the website. So if you're on the web, the World Wide Web, then you can uh, check this out. Actually, you know the number, don't you? Yes, I do. It's, it's at <laughs> www.rosiegaines.com. Uh, tell me about this uh, release that you have now called The Arrival. Um, this is um, going to be something independently. We have our own label called Dreadlicks, and we got a little bit tired of being caught between the parlor tricks and decided to do it on our own. And so since we're dealing with, um, you know, now having the website going on, we can reach people across the country, and we're already reaching people from Sweden all the way from people here, my home people in the Bay Area. Yeah. So... You know, it's, it's, it's something I'm glad I took a chance on doing before I became too old to do something else, you know. So it's like, uh, check it out. Yeah, and uh, uh, once... You can hear... Um, I'm sorry, Gary. Go ahead, that's okay. We <laughs> you, can hear, uh, you can hear little snippets of the song also on the website to find out what you're going to be paying for. Uh -huh. So. Okay, give us that number one more time. It's www.rosygains.com. And I got to let you know also about another CD that Rosie has called, it's called Closer Than Close. It has uh, songs in there like I Want You, Are You Ready, which is a great song. I recommend that for everybody's collection. Also, uh, Closer Than Close, My Tender Heart, that uh, you co-wrote with Prince and uh, Ricky Peterson, right? And uh, actually, Paul Peterson. No, actually, pro uh, Ricky Peterson produced it. Oh, okay. It was, this is how it happened. It was written by me first. Uh -huh. I, drew, I wrote this song long ago before... A, a person that I fell in love with, whom I still in love with, and uh, and then um, maybe here in the studio somewhere. I don't know. Uh, there you go. <laughs> but then, so um, P heard the song and he said, you know, this is a great song. But he did change some things around, change the lyrics around. He made the story more about uh, a guy cheating on a woman, but the the initial story was more about being in love with a guy. And the guy, and, and saying, like, let me tell you the hook. It's, it's like, my tender heart, my tender love is all I have to give. So be careful when you say the words, I love you, be sure is what you mean. That was the initial thing. And, then and how did P do it? <laughs> he did. My tender heart, my tender love is all I have to give. Uh, what makes you think I can live without you? When I, uh, um, what, did he say? what makes you think that I can live without you? I don't know the rest. Right, right. But he changed it around, and it was a hit on the CD called Closer Than Close. So you got to get a hold of it. And, uh, Rosie, I want to thank you for coming by. I mean, thank you're you. a great artist. I recommend, as I mentioned before, you got to get involved with Rosie Gaines and her material because you'll definitely be uh, opened up to music that is great. Okay, i got to let you know. I'm G-Spot. Uh, Rosie Gaines, you got any shout outs you want to give to the Bay Area? You know, I just I really want to say thank you to to all the people in the Bay Area who supported me over the years and who still support me. And just thank you. One love to all. And I got to give it up to my man, Al Ballard. Yeah. What's up, Al? Yo, behind the camera. Peace out, Al. All right. Peace out to you there, G-Spot. And uh, my good friend, Mr. Rosie Gaines, uh, still touring with the uh, NPG uh, my man, uh, you know who I'm talking about, the artist formerly known as Prince in the New Power Generation Tour and all that good stuff. Thank you, Rosie Darling, and thank you, G-Spot, here on Soul Showcase.